all right what is up guys so today i'm going to be showing you how to get rep for the rust bowl resistance now if you aren't playing during the beginning of a month make sure that the first thing you go do is to check if the dark moon fair is up it's pretty simple you're going to head there you can find them in your major local cities for your faction um, but basically you're going to come down to the bottom over here you're going to speak to this panda and this panda will give you tickets and these tickets will let you go in to this little ride which is a carousel which will give you the wee buff now this wee buff here gives you a one hour 10 percent experience and reputation gain so you definitely want to have this also if there is any um events like the 50th anniversary that we just had it'll give you an extra 15 percent sometimes there is a 50 percent bonus reputation gain uh, which you want to take advantage of as well so look on your calendar and see if there's any up now when you're coming to the rust bowl resistance whether you're new or maybe you haven't played a while, make sure you finish the quest line because this quest line will help you unlock all the world quests and the dailies. So this is going to be the first thing you're going to want to do. Once you finish this, obviously you're going to want to buy a contract. Um, once you're friendly, you can use the contract for the Rust Bowl Resistance and now you can grind out more rep. Now, another way you can actually get rep in here would be doing the dailies. Like I said, once you set them up, you can do the dailies and you can do the world quest. There's usually around two to three world quests up and there's regular quests around the map. Now there is a few quests that you won't be able to see. Uh, so make sure to just keep going around until you find them. Uh, they pop up randomly throughout the week. There's some where you can build a spider bot and that can give you around like 500 to 800 rep. Um, but yeah, you're going to be going around doing your dailies. Also, don't forget to loot your chests. There's chests around the map that you're going to want to get as well. So the reason why you want to get the chest is because the chest will give you certain items that can help you complete quests, which will be like dailies and other quests that pop up throughout the week. So you're always going to want to be looting them. Um, it's very important. It'll save you a lot of time. But the main part is you're going to be going around killing rares and also doing pet battles. So I honestly recommend to get the pet battles done and then go do the rares. Um, because once you're done with the pet battles, you can't get rep. From them anymore unless it's up for a world quest the rares take a little bit longer that was like the last thing i was doing uh, to get my rep so you're going to be flying around for a good while i recommend trying to do like server hopping if you can try to find groups in a pre-main make sure to do that as well it will help you save a lot of time so like i said you're going to be going around looking for rares all the time so make sure you download tom tom and make sure you download the handy notes mechagon now this Little add-on is going to help you save a lot of time just because it'll show you where all the rares are at, tell you what it drops and all that cool fun stuff. Um, but it's going to help you um, fly around the right direction and see if they're up. Make sure, to, like I said, to do the pre-made to make sure you save some time. Uh, like I said, the other way is going to be pets as well. Now, these pets are kind of a pain. Um, I'll post a link down below so you know how to actually kill them. But you're going to definitely have two certain pets that I recommend having, which is going to be Icky and Bone Shard. Mainly Bone Shard. You want to go for Bone Shard. Hopefully, they're not too expensive on your server. They usually go between 2 to 10K right now. So make sure you get it now before it's too late because it might be up around 20K here in 8.3. Um, but yeah, you're going to be going around killing all the pets around the map, which the link down below I'll, show, I'll put down will show you where all the pets are you need to kill. Like I said before, once you kill them, that's pretty much it. Um, so the only way you can get more rep from pets is only going to be through world quest. So you're going to want to you want to make sure that you stay on top of this. Get this done first, guys, so you can get a lot of rep. Uh, like I said earlier, you're going to want to get a contract as well. This contract only works uh, when you're friendly, and it's only seven days. So after seven days, it will be gone. Um, but at least with this, you can still go do world quests all throughout the map, throughout the world in PFA, and still get 10 rep added on top of your other world quests as well. So also make sure to come to the junkyard and do your daily recycling. Now that first junkyard that you went into when you started the Rust Bowl Resistance uh, rep grind, uh, first quest you got into Megagon, this is an area you're going to want to be at. Now every day you can turn in two recycles and you can get rep from that, which grants you around 150 rep. Now, in order to do this, you're going to have to do some spare part farming. But regardless, you're going to need spare parts to finish a lot of quests. So I do recommend to grind this out, um, put in some hours into this, and it'll help you save a lot of time. So basically, you can go farm for about 
30 minutes to 40 minutes and get around 300 rep from just farming the spare parts out. So this here, what I'm showing you is where all the secret fishes are at. So I do recommend to go farm them. Once you get them, you do get around 25 rep. So in total, once you get all of them, it's around 250. I will post this down below for you guys to check out as well, but it's a good way to get rep. Now, another thing I was talking about earlier are there's two rare leads you want to be going for. Now, these two here that I'm showing you will be dropping blueprints. And once you complete them, you will get around 500 hundred rep and it's very important to do that so like i said there's going to be a lot of times that you're going to just be flying around uh going for rares so make sure you're getting your chest you're doing your spare part farming make sure you finish all your pet battles and after at the end you'll probably just most likely be farming rares but that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a like hit that sub button and i'll catch y'all in the next one peace